always women, but because of the nature of the storytelling, you weren't able to really delve into those relationships the way we are. Tell me what's been the most interesting thing about being able to be in a Star Trek with all of these really strong women. And even though your character is one that is learning, what's been what's felt like this show has really kind of been doing with the women in the show? Um, gosh, that's a really great question. I mean, it's it's very inspiring to me to be surrounded by so many women, and also to have the really the focal point of the show to be a woman. And Sonequa is like an incredibly, I'm sure you've heard, just warm angel person, and having her lead the way, especially for me being. Kind of a newcomer has been um, has been really helpful and really and really comforting. Um, uh, as an as an actor, I only want to work in shows that have great stories for women, where women are at the forefront, uh, making things happen, and not the you know just the um, character actor in someone else's life. So that has been really great and really affirming. And I think all the writers and directors and producers are really into that and, and really focused on that as well. So as someone who loved Big Little Lies and loved Handmaid's Tale, the fact that these female-driven stories are driving streaming TV, I think, is really perfect for what our show is and. You know, it's between Gretchen Berg, who's what, the other female EP and myself, I think just making sure that these stories for Sonequa martin Green, who plays the lead, and that sisterhood that I think everyone's going to feel with Michelle Yeoh really translated. And then as we get past one and two, once you meet Mary Wiseman's character, Tilly, and that they have a sort of sisterly relationship, you know, I think you you haven't seen that before on Trek because we've always had... There's, there were always women, but because of the nature of the storytelling, you weren't able to really delve into those relationships the way we are. What has this show been allowing you to play that you couldn't play when you were on The Walking Dead? Oh man, well, there's, there's definitely a rigidity to me as Michael that wasn't the case uh, with Sasha. Um, there's a... There's a sort of... There's a sort of, well, there's, there's, the, there's the militaristic uh, quality of both women. So that's one similarity, actually. But, but yes, I, I, I have a lot more rigidity as, as Michael. Um, and, and that's been very interesting to have that in my body. Um, because I'm so used to, you know, Sa as Sasha, I was very, um, you know, sort of hunched over, kind of always in protective mode. Um, but as Michael, I'm straight up all the time. You know, there's always a constant pressure to present a certain image. And uh, yeah, so that's giving me some really new and interesting things to play. What I've really found about Laurel is that she is so fierce and so intelligent and such an incredible warrior, but because she is a part of this patriarchal species, she doesn't quite realize her own strength. And I think that that's going to be a really beautiful evolution that the audience is going to get to watch, is um, how she gets to discover um, that part of herself. I think it's, I relate to it very much. It's someone who is innately strong who kind of feels more soft and vulnerable on the inside and doesn't realize that the world sees her in a different way. So it's been, I mean, I, I feel there's, I, my relationship with Lorel is so personal. And I said that to someone the other day and they were like, really? Because she's pretty intense. But I feel that as someone who is in a setting where there is a hierarchy of power and she knows how to manipulate her way around it, um, she really has to kind of look inward and, and, and figure out what it is that she wants.